This is David Wolford with the Google Guru. Today I'm going to take a look at showing you how to assign student-led group projects within Google Classroom. Um, this all came about because I had some people asking, you know, I understand how to create individual assignments with the template, but they wanted the students to have more creative control and they wanted to be able to use groups. So this is one way of doing that. From the teacher point of view, it's just like normal. You start off by creating an assignment. I'm going to call it Google Slides. Show me your skills with the idea that they're just showing me all their editing skills within Google Slides. Give them a due date just like normal. But now you don't attach a template. This is a pretty easy way to go from the teacher point of view. At this point, you're done. So now let's look at it from a student point of view. Let's go ahead and refresh it here and you will see it pop up like normal. Now, when working with a group, this first part is very important. It doesn't matter whether you have a group of two or 200, you only have one student for each group do this first step. Now with that in mind, you have the one student that you want, click on Google Slides, you'll notice there's nothing there, but they have two options. They can add, which is pulling in a document that they've already created, but in this instance I want them to create a new document so I'm going to have them create a slide and when they do that you'll see that it pulls it in and you'll see it just like a template so now that student can go ahead and click on it and it opens up the Google Slides presentation and then they can use the share settings from right within here to go ahead and share it with whoever else is in their group now make sure that the students type a little note here in the add note Here's our assignment or whatever you want them to put because then that makes it easier on the other member of the group to find their assignments. So click send. So now that person's job is done as far as sharing. So let's go and look at the other person's point of view from the group. You'll see that when they come into the classroom, they see this, okay? but right now they click on it and there's nothing there. So what this person needs to do is this person needs to go to their mail as one way, and you'll see they have a couple of emails, one from the teacher and one from their uh, group creator. So they would click on that and it's right there, and now they can open it up and they can do what they need to do. It has all the rich editing, collaboration, sharing tools that you see there. Okay, If they really wanted to get to it another way, they could come into their drive area. And since it was shared with them, click on the shared with me and it'll be there. Okay, So there's a couple different ways they can get to it. Now they have their time, they do what they need to do, and they're ready to turn it in. So from the student's point of view that had it shared with them, they're not going to have anything to turn in because they didn't create it. So all they need to do is go back to the classroom and Mark is done. That way they don't have all those um, reminders popping up saying it's late, it's late, it's late, have them mark it as done. The student that actually created it will then need to come in here, if I get to the right one here for you, go back and when it's done then they can click turn in it'll say you ready to turn in you say yes and now the grading process and everything is the same from the teacher point of view now just remember the few key points that only one person creates it they share it out and then the ones that created it can turn it in but have, make sure and have the other students go in and mark as done that way you and them are not both getting those annoying notifications if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the notes thank you